ओम ज्ञान तिमृंद ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुंदित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदयम श्रीगुरोपदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवाश्चूप साग्रजात सहगण रघुनाथ सजीव साध्वत सवधूत परजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधापाद सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखान्वता करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी विशर्वाणुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्णा प्रदायिन कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य गौरतृषे नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावता भक्ताभ्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअदादर श्रीवासरी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्मादशतन्वयादित्रत चार्थ सुट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय कवे मुयंत दूर तेज वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यो वृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तुहक सत्यम परम धीमहे नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम फोर्थ कैंटो चैप्टर नंबर फाइव बिलिंग फ्रॉम वर्स नंबर सिक्स डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सैक्रीफाइस परफॉर्म बाय दक्षा एंड एज वी बिन रीडिंग दैट सती वाइफ ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा से गेव अप हर बॉडी इन दिस सैक्रीफाइस एरिया and when lord shiva heard about it he was very angry he decided to take revenge and he created virbhadra from his hair and ordered him that he go and destroy sacrifice and the one who is doing it daksha so this is when we start yesterday in bhagavad gita lord krishna says karmanya karu ye tasve karmani karma eva cha sab dhiman manushya su sayukta sab karma krit one who sees action in inaction and inaction in action action so lord shiva he performed in action by not standing up <laughs> and daksha took this for an action hmm. but this is not buddhi <laughs> this shloka is not applying that <laughs> but actually shloka is for one side that one sees one's own action and one's own action and action, action, action. so he was taking the inaction of lord shiva as action 
and negative action. And this led to the whole problem. If you would have just thought that he is not doing anything, at least he is neutral, then the problem would, have, would not have been caused. So one inaction led to so much action. But could it work? No. <coughs> when he says inaction into action, so Lord Shiva he didn't need inaction. Now he's doing action. But that inaction is followed by the action, so that means it probably implies that he's not a buddhima. That's what I'm saying. But Daksha was not buddhima, huh. although he was taking inaction for action. He's the one who took Lord Shiva's inaction for action. Mm. But I thought that that verse is for the oneself, individual self, that I'm doing inaction now, I'm seeing my inaction as an action. Yeah, it's not for others to see that. That's why I was having equal vision. <laughs> <laughs> so that is when you want to see something, you see it. So Lord Shiva should not have reacted. That was the best thing for him and for everybody. Why kill a poor Brahmana? <laughs> right? After all, what did Daksha do? Okay, he didn't like him, but he's a Brahman. He's not an ordinary person. I should not own this. this. So, he was... Anybody can make mistake. So, Daksha made a mistake. Lord Shiva should have forgiven as he did in the first instance. Second instance, he did not do anything. Now Shiva, now Sati took his inaction for action. You see, they became expert. <laughs> As the father, so the daughter. The father took Shiva's inaction for action. Daughter also did the same. She took father's inaction for action. Father did not insult him. He didn't say anything. He didn't receive him nicely, means he did not respect. He did not insult. But he then gave his place to his uh, husband. So that's that also inaction. That's inaction. That's, that's, that's insult. That's no, no. inaction is insult. No, no. Sure. He didn't do something which he was supposed to do. It is an inaction. It's not that he, he put Shiva and he was throwing no. some stones at his. You don't have to do physical you know, hurt, you can also do mentally, you can uh, affect the person and insult them. He, he actually did not do something which he was supposed to do, that's, mm -hmm. that's what an action means. <coughs> right? He was supposed to give respect to Shiva, he didn't do it. Just as Shiva was supposed to respect Daksha, he did not do So this mm -hmm. did for that and it's even now. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is too much of action out of inaction. <laughs> so that's how many times inaction becomes action. That's what Krishna is saying. And Buddhiman people, they understand it. So Daksha was also not an ordinary person, he was intelligent. And Shiva is also not an ordinary person, he is also intelligent. So they are able to see action in action. You see their intelligence? <coughs> Right? <laughs> it's like Krishna says that Sa Buddhiman Manusya is he is Buddhiman. You can say that in action. In action. So they both are very intelligent, but then they should not do action. Or we have to see their action also as in action now, to remain Buddhiman. So now you, what action they are taking, you take this as for inaction, then you are Buddhiman. <laughs> so, why did Shiva did this? Poor Daksha is doing his sacrifice, prescribed duty 
so many great people assembled, devas are there, and now he is sending this Veer Bhadra to destroy that. So is it good? Not very good. <laughs> I mean, what, what did he achieve from this? Did he become very great by doing this? No. If he would have been very great, that he would have tolerated like before. And he said, let's see how great he is. He did not take any action against this person. But, but that leaves an initial point there. He could not have curbed Daksha's pride then. Well, he, Daksha will be destroyed by his own pride, yeah. he will get the reaction of his karma. But that's only because Virbhadra is there, otherwise he actually given away all previous associates of Lord Shiva. Yeah, mm. because they wanted to kill. Yeah. The Lord's associate, Shiva's associate, they wanted to kill the Brahmanas. Yeah. Well, this poor guy, Brahmanas, they are doing their sacrifice. What do they have? One dhoti they are wearing, one chadar on top. But Daksa is no poor Brahman. Daksa is not. He's a Prajapati. Yeah, he's Prajapati. <laughs> yeah, it's his duty to protect everybody. Yeah. If you kill a protector, then what happens to the subjects? <clears throat> they become orphans. Right? If somebody is protecting and you kill that person, then these people become orphans. So why do this? Not very sensible. You say Lord Shiva's action is totally inappropriate then? Yeah. Yeah, you can see this. <laughs> killing him, this is Brahmatya. Mm. Brahmatya killing a Brahmana is very sinful. Mm. I don't know why, why they put Lord Shiva there. They could have put another personality in his place. <laughs> hmm? no? Because it's like he's a great Vaishnava and this whole thing. Yeah. It looks like a black spot. It's not a good behavior for Vaishnava Vaishnava to do such a thing. Vaishnava is not doing that. Now you say Brahman is supposed to be like Arjuna in the first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> This is the effect of zero Because Krishna himself says in Bhagavatam, he says that Brahmanas are my life. Right? Brahmanas are my? Life. My life. Life, yes. He says that I can even cut my own arm if it goes against the Brahmana. Remember in third canto, when the Kumaras went to Vaikuntha and the gatekeeper stopped. So then Lord personally walked. And when he saw the Kumara, then he asked for forgiveness on behalf of his servants and said that Sindhyam sa bahumati, that I will cut my own arm to converge against the Brahmanas. That's why he did not protect the gatekeepers. They were cursed by the Brahmanas and he said, yes, you go down because we have done a mistake. And then in the 11th canto also. In the 10th canto, Nirgu Maharaj. Yeah, in the story of Nirga, he is telling to his sons that he should never trouble the Brahmanas. And he's actually his dynasty was destroyed only because they troubled the Brahmanas. Remember? They went to the Brahmanas and made fun of them. So, this is not good. Krishna himself is showing by his own example. And he is called Go Brahman Hitayacha. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Go Brahman Two people he likes, one cow and Brahman. He is called Brahmanya Deva. His Brahmanas are his Devatas. And what is Lord Shiva doing? He is killing them. Just like cutting potatoes in the kitchen. <laughs> 
But at the time of dissolution, she also does the same thing, so it's a normal for him. <laughs> that, 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 is, that is his seva, because the world has to be brought to an end. He's yeah. not, that time he's not discriminating that this is Brahman. He looks like a personal motivation. But now you see he's discriminating. He's killing only Daksha and his followers. So, this also we should learn. Don't do this. Now for a long time there was no Prajapati. Then they have to go and pacify him. So now listen, how Brahmatya will be done. Only thing is that why he did not get Brahmatya? That we have to see. He killed a Brahmana. When Indra killed a Brahmana, then Brahmatya was behind him. When Lord Shiva killed, Brahmatya did not come to trouble him. Right? Actually then all of them will go to him and pray to him. Because he is not attached. He is seeing, now also he is seeing in action, in action. So Krishna says, Yasya naham kriti bhavo buddhir yasya na lipyate atvapi saimvan lokam na hanti na nimadhyate One who does not have the ego of doership and who does not become proud, I did this then that person does not get. So although he is doing it, I can seems that he is getting very angry, but he will not get any reaction from this. You don't read anything that will not read any reaction. Anviyamana Saturudra Parshadam Visham Nadadhir Venadat Subhairavam Udyamya Shulam Jagadanta Kantakam Sapradravad Ghoshani Bhushanangri So Sapradravad So he ran Because you see he got so much power that he was not now walking slowly, he was sprinting. So Sat Pradravad Ghoshana Bhushanangar. And when he was running, then his ankle bells, they were making sound. That means he was also decorated with nice ornaments. And what did he have? In his hand he has this trident whether it was trident or unident <laughs> because it's only says shulam not three shulam I did not say there were three but only one like a spear 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 like javelin they have mm -hmm. like that type so he had the spear in his hand and the spear was not ordinary spear <coughs> There was no peer for the spear because it said Jagada Antaka Antakam that this spear could bring an end to the one who brings an end to the universe. Means Yamaraj is called Antaka and this can even kill Yamaraj, the lord of death. That was the type of shul he had in his hand. So Damya Shulam Holding this in his hand, he ran like an athlete. And Anviya Manasatu Rudra Parshadai. He was being followed by the associates of Lord Shiva and Vrisham Nadat Bhir Venadat Subhairavan. And all of them were making terrible sound, shouting, Jai, smash this guy, kill him. Don't leave him. All these types. So they were totally fired up <coughs> for this job. So Jagadantakasyapi Antakatulyam. 
scroll the severe words like Alfred can bring an end to the killer of the world. Ghoshnani, Shabdayamanani, Ghoshnani, Yeos, Pavangri, etc. So he had ornaments <coughs> on his feet and they were jingling. And, uh, so when they came, then there was a lot of dust created. You know that India is a dusty place. <laughs> and this has been so right from the beginning. It's not a new thing. <laughs> Only when you go to West, you don't see dust. <laughs> but in India, there is always dust. And dust has very great importance here. Yeah. There is a lot of talk about dust. But if you take the dust from the feet of the West now, you get purified. So now there is so much dust raised by these people that is described here. Atharvakvijo yajamana sadasyaha prakubhyo vichyam prasamikshareenum tamanki metat kutayeta darajo bhutiti dvijadvija patnasya dadhyo So they saw this big dust raised in the sky. It's like if there are many cows walking. There is a lot of dust that they raised from their hoof or in their vehicles, chariots in the olden days, they will also create a lot of dust. So this uh, Brahmanas, the Ritviks, who were in the sacrifice and also Daksha himself and other members, they saw that in the north side there was a big dust, Kakubhe Udichyam Prasamiksha Renu and Tamaha Kimetat kutayeta drajo bhut. There was darkness, there was so much dust. Because this big army of these people coming. So they started looking at each other that what happened from where is this coming? What is causing it? And all the Brahmanas and Dujpatanesha Dadhyu, all the wives of the Brahmanas, they all started thinking that what is the cause for this investing in spine? Pratham tamayiti tatas tamay etanna bhavati kintu rajayiti gyatva ahu rajayita kuto bhi. So first they thought, they thought that it is darkness. Maybe the sun is setting. The cloud in the sky has covered the sun because it was not night time. But then they realized that it is not cloud, but it is dust. And then they started wondering from where so much dust has suddenly come. Because there was no wind that they say in the next verse. Because they say, Vata na vanti na isanti dashyabaha Prachi na barahir jivati yogradandaha Gavo na kalyante idam kuto raja Loko dhuna kim pralaya kalpate he says that there is no wind blowing. There is sometimes there are dust storms here, especially in the month of May and June. There is a lot of dust. So much dust that suddenly becomes completely dark. And after the storm is gone, you feel little relief from the heat. That is the only good thing. And then the whole room you have to sleep. becomes <laughs> dusty. <coughs> So he says that Vata na Vanti, there is no wind blowing, there is no storm coming. And Nahi Santi Dasyava, there are also no dacoits. Because dacoits also they loot people and then people are running out of fear from them. That may create dust. So he says that there are no dacoits. Why there are no dacoits? Because Prachin Barhi Jivati Yugradanda. The king Prachin Bari is ruling, that means King Prachin Bari was ruling at that time. And he is very strict in his discipline in controlling the criminals. So there were no dacoits or thieves in his kingdom. So that means the story of Prachin Bari is real. It's not just an allegoric story which comes later on in this country. 
So the specifically saying Prachiva Barhiv Jivati Yukradanda. And Gavo na Kalyante Idam Kutorajo. And the another region, there are three regions they are conjecturing which could be for the dust and all three are not present. Other is that in India there used to be a lot of cows in the past. Now there are a lot of Goshalas. Previously there was no such tradition of Goshala. Because everybody was having cow. And people used to have many many cows. And every village will have cows. And there was covered people. So their job was to take the cows of everybody from the village. Even when I was a child in the village, this was a custom. And then they will take them to the forest. Every village had a forest. Like in the west, you see outside every village there is a forest. Of course, that forest is so dense that you cannot even go inside it. But in India, the forest was not like that. The cows will graze inside the forest. And it was also not so systematic looking. There you see it all, the trees are different planted. So, this was just a custom. And then all the cows will come back in the evening. So there was no hassle of buying bhusa. And then feeding them. Now maintaining gosala is an expensive affair. So it has become a service. Previously it was not like that. There were, there were gochar bhumi. Everywhere there were plenty of land for cows to graze. So cow would just go in the morning, graze all day, come back in the evening. Then they stay in the house, the milk. This is what Krishna was doing. He was not putting bhusa to them when they came back. He had other things to do. <laughs> Imagine that he, he goes to the tell the cows daytime and then in the evening not doing the bhusa. <laughs> So no, he was not doing that. Only just milk the cow and then cow will sit down, relax. And in the morning take them again. So this was the life in India. That's why cows and brahmanas were very important here. So the whole lifestyle <coughs> was around these two things. Cows and brahmanas. Brahmanas were the one who studied the Vedas, did sacrifice, gave knowledge. And cows supplied the food, and cow dung and fertilizer, milk and ghee for the sacrifice. So all this came from the cows. So they say that Gavona Kalyante, that also the it is not the time for the cows to come back. So then Kuto Raja. So from where this dust? And this was not ordinary dust, it was quite a big, like a storm. So, Aduna Kim Pralaya Kalpate, is it time for dissolution? That is, the world is going to come an end. So, obviously it is not coming to an end. This was not the appropriate time. So, Punarapi Vividham Sanserate Vataiti. And again there are many various doubts of why this does. Prachin Barhi Stadanin Tano Raja has question. At that time the king was Prachin Barhi. So that they were unable to understand. Or they understood the real reason but they are not speaking it. They understand that the problem is coming. <laughs> if you know that somebody is a mafia type, mm -hmm. right, and comes to trouble you, and somehow you defeat him, so you don't you think that he is going to come back again and attack you? Mm -hmm. They knew it very well. The brahmanas, <coughs> and stupid people. So they knew that we have thrown away these associates of Lord Shiva and Daksha has disregarded Lord Shiva and Sati has given up her life. So a reaction will come for sure. But they don't want to say it. 
because Daksha is there, so they are going round about. It's called beating around the bush. That, oh, there are no cows. So, this is called Vyatirek. That negative, by speaking all these things, they are saying that actually it is because of Daksha's offense. <laughs> that this possibility not true, this is also not true, this is also not true. So, what is remaining? Mm. So, it is just like Devdatta Divana Bhunkte. <laughs> Pino Devdatta Divana Bhunkte. Vatri Bhoji. That Devdatta is fat. It is not eating in daytime. Nobody sees him eating. So, he must eat at night. So, like that, they are actually telling that this, we are actually in trouble because of this daksha. So, prasuti mishraha striya udvigna chitta uchur vipako vrijnasya satasya yat pasyanti nam duhitri nam prajeshah sutam satim avadadhyavan nagam Then the ladies, they are speaking. And as we saw that ladies are bold, mm -hmm. it is also said by Chanakya Pandit that women can be, I think, four times more bold than men. So that time also they spoke, or they received sati, when Daksha was neglecting and all his followers were keeping quiet. And now also the followers are keeping quiet not saying the truth, but the women they are speaking. So he says that the women which were headed by Prasuti, wife of Daksha, she herself is saying. So Prasuti, Misra, Striya, Udvigna, Chitta, they were disturbed in their mind and Uchu, they spoke. So what did they say? That this indeed Vipako, Vrijnasya, Eja, Tasya. Now this is the outcome of the sin committed by Daksha. Openly, not going around. Yat pasyanti nam duhitri nam prajesha. And what is that sin? That when all his daughters, they were looking, then this Daksha, he disrespected his daughter known as Sati. Sutam Satim Avdadhyavan Anagam Who has not committed any wrong? Sati did not make any mistake. The only mistake was that she came. That was not a mistake done towards Daksha. It was towards Anasya. So they I have actually spoken the truth that this is all because of Daksha. Prasuti Daksha Patni Sa Mishra Mukhya Yasam Sa. Prasuti is the wife of Daksha and she is the chief of among these women. So they are all speaking. Vijnasya Pradasya Esha Vipaka. This is the outcome of offense committed by Daksha. So in the Smriti it is said that when you commit some sinful act then you get a result. But if the offense or result is very intense then you get result very quickly. It is said in Hitopdes that you get it in three days, three months or three years. Depending on how intense. They say three lifetimes, no? Hmm? Three lifetime? No. Three days, three months or three years. So usually you get the result in next life or some future life. You do something good now, you get the result in future life. But if something is very, very heinous crime, then the outcome comes quickly. So this we have also seen that sometimes people are very offensive, then the result comes in that very life. Like in Chaitanya Chaitanya also that 
described this person and what was his name? Chapal Gopal. Gopal Chapal. Yeah. So he, his nose fell off. Many times people get some disease, serious disease, or some other thing happens in their life if they have found a great personality. So this is a fact. So because Daksha has committed a very grave offence, now the result is coming quickly, immediately. And these wives, they are able to understand that they are not, they are also educated. So they know this, and this is because of the bad karma. Prashanti Namiti Tasya Dukha Dikya Hetu So they are saying that the cause of Sati's uh, suffering was even more because this happened when all the other sisters were looking. If you disrespect somebody privately then the person does not feel so bad. If you do it publicly, then it is very painful. So Sati actually felt disrespected in front of everyone, especially her sisters. And sometimes there may be rivalry among the sisters. So she felt very bad. So he says, Pasyanti Nam. That why it is said that when the sisters were looking, everybody else was also looking. Why spe specifically it is stated that sisters were looking? Because more you are close to somebody and you may have some type of rivalry, if you are insulted in front of them, then it is much more painful. So therefore it says, Dukha Dikki Hetu. What was the offense? That he had insulted her. Although she was without any offense, Anaga. He has not committed any offense. Shiva has also not committed any offense. It was just a misunderstanding. So sometimes offense can also be committed because of misunderstanding. Not that one has actually done anything. There is a famous story in the life of Sri Rupa Goswami. Mm -hmm. So Sri Rupa Goswami did not commit any offence. But this other Vaishnava took it for an offence. He did not do anything. So similarly here, Lord Shiva actually did not commit any offence. He had not come there to offend Daksha, it was not his purpose. But Daksha, he took it, this was the misunderstanding. Many times there are problems, quarrels, fights among relatives, friends. It's because of some misunderstanding. One says something, it does not mean what the other person understands. So it's very difficult to understand the mind. And when we speak, we are trying to convey our thoughts to another person through words. But words have a different meaning. And also how you say it, that also changes the meaning. Not just the word, but also the way you speak. So sometimes, the other person take it in a different sense when it is not meant like that. So this causes friction many times and especially in this particular instance this has created a very big problem. So many people got killed one after another. It's for a very small thing. How many people killed here? Sati was killed, Daksha was killed, many other people. Guru will lose his beard, 
two sized teeth. Somebody will lose his eyes <coughs> permanently. Till today, Pusa is given only Dalia. In the sacrifice, he has no teeth. He just eats porridge. <laughs> Poor guy. Those days there were no artificial teeth. <laughs> If he was now, he will go to a dentist to get a set made. So in those days, he just has only his gums. <coughs> so they have to make halwa for him. <laughs> On lapsi. He can swallow. Vyastvanta kale vyat. Vipta jata kalapaha swasula suchar pita digga jendra vita tenir teati udita shradur dha janu chut ataha satame yutnu hindu dik. So they are saying that this offense is done towards Lord Shiva and he is being described that how. He is, or what is his power? He says, yes to antakale vyupta jata kalapa. When it is time for the universe to be destroyed, then what does Lord Shiva do? He does one dance, which is called Tandava Nirtya. Because this is a fun for him. It's like those people who are in sattva, they like to preserve and protect things and they feel happy by doing that. Those who are in tamas, they take pleasure in breaking things. That's why when somebody becomes angry, then what does he or she do? Break. Even if he has his own mobile in the hand, he will smash it. <laughs> you have done that? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but you know that people do that. Yeah, I have seen. <laughs> so that is called Tamogana. <laughs> and they, they take great pleasure in doing that. Breaking or slapping somebody, hitting somebody. You have to break something when anger is there. So that's... So when Shiva... Because he is the boss of Tamogun. When he destroys and he is in charge of destroying, then he dances and he does a very intense dance that Vipta Jatakalapa, that his hair they are flowing in all directions. Like dancing in frenzy. Swasula Suchi Arpita Diggajendra. So he has his Trishul, and on that, what he does is that he hangs these elephants which are protectors of the directions. There are eight elephants which are called Diggajan. The elephants of eight directions, and they are the ones which maintain the balance of the planetary system. So, destroying means you have to disturb the balance. balance. Because now everything is working because gravitational force is balancing everything. So what Lord Shiva does is that he disturbs the gravitational force by his dancing. Mm. And when gravitational force is disturbed, then these planets, they start smashing each other. And he is very happy then. <laughs> <laughs> like a child. <laughs> He is angry when he is disturbing? No, he is laughing. He is laughing. <laughs> like child when he is destroying some kind of things. So, Vyupta Jata Kalapa Swasula Suchi Arpit Diggajendra Vitatya Nirtyati. He is dancing. He do not dance in anger. Udita Astra Dor Dhajanu. And then he has his hands which are spread like a flag with weapons in it and Anucha Attahasa he laughs 
very loudly. There are various types of laughing, you know that. There's, you laugh even without showing your teeth, like a monkey laughing. You should be doing like that. And then, haas, prahas, anuhas, uthas, attahas. These eight types of laughing they are described in Ujjal Nirmuni Gavitmiya Swami. So there are various types of laugh. So this attahas is the loudest. When you laugh completely in uncultured manner. So now they have this laughing yoga. So in that laughing yoga also they laugh like this. That is called attahas. So attahasas tanu yitnu bhinna dik. And this directions as if they are being pierced by the lightning thrown by him. So this is how he destroys everything. Because he has to actually create an imbalance. Nacha asya Prajapatehe stages Svitvam Sri Rudre Prabhavati Ityahu Yasvatindam. So these two verses, this and the next one is spoken to explain that this Prajapati Daksha, he is nobody in front of Rudra. Because Rudra is destroying the whole universe, so to speak of destroying this Prajapati. Yupta Jatakalapa Vikirna Jatapunja. He is here a disabled. Unditani Unnamitani Astrani Yeshu Te Dosho Bhav. He has his arms. He also manifests more than two arms. Usually you see Siva is having only two arms. But he also has more arms and he is dancing like this. Because plural is used. And Dhaja. Vitatya Nirtya. So he is having weapons in his hand. And these weapons are raised up and he is dancing. So this is called power dance. Have you seen power dance? Hmm? Power dance is when you take weapons in your hand, like trident or this, and then you dance with that. Bharav dance. Previously, Bharo people used to come and used, used to dance like that. So this is power dance. Stanitnu garjitam tena bhinna vidirna dishoyen. So when he is dancing and he is laughing, then it is just like this, like thundering and lightning. And all directions and if they are torn apart by the sound, create such sound, thundering, loud thundering sound in lightning. So the directions are filled with the sound. And then next Amarshitva atama sahi atejasam manyu plutam durvasaham prakutya karaladan stravhi stada asta bhaganam syat swastikim ko paayate vidhatu. So, when that time when he is angry like this, no one can bear his potency, his age. And manyu plutam durvasaham prakutya. He has his eyebrows which are bent out of anger. And Karala Dhanastrav here, Udasta Bhagana. He has his terrible teeth. So he, he is not the peaceful Shiva at that time. He is Rudra. Coming in the form of Rudra. And Udasta Bhagana. And all these stars and galaxies, everything becomes disturbed by him. Swasti kim ko to vidhatu. So he says that when Shiva gets angry, do you think that even Brahma can have peace? 
does not leave any way. So what to speak of this Prajapati? Amarshitva kopitva udasta utikshipto bhagano vanni surya dinamapi jyotir gano yenika. So when he is angry, then he disturbs all the luminaries in the sky. Everything is thrown out of their place. Punarapi prayasya manena kopayato vidhatu prajapati putu brahmano kim swasti sar. And now he has a very special anger because his dear wife has been killed or has committed suicide. So how in such a situation can even Brahma have peace of mind? Kanyasya katha iti dakshasya dharatlina sarveva mahavitadini makshamati pavim says what to speak of others. Even Brahma gets scared in such a situation. Says now because of the ill behavior of daksha we are all in trouble. This is the meaning. These ladies they are saying that now we are all in problem because of this one man's behavior. So this is the description of the situation when they have reached from the next verse onwards it will be described what they did and they came down. So that will be in the next class. Question? Don't you have to go now? Yeah. No, so I will not ask any question. Six, seven, eight, eight. What time is it? I can take one more question. Yeah. Well, when, when Krishna says he's a friend of the Brahmins, mm. it, it also refers to those who are, who are not Vashika or Vishnu. Yeah, they are Vaishnavas. No, those Brahmins who, who don't worship Vishnu. Yes, some Brahmins who are... Yeah, Brahman means Brahman and Vaishnava could be a Brahman also. Yeah. But he is not, speci not talking specifically about the Brahmanas who worship Vishnu. He is talking about Brahmanas in general. Yeah. Tomorrow we will have class because we switch to Saturday. You know? Yeah, tomorrow we will have class. Six to seven. After tomorrow no class. Mm -hmm. That's also Mahabharata reading. <coughs> Not to worry about When he talks about Brahmanas, he also means a person who is really a Brahman, not. Yeah, Brahma means one who is performing the duties of a Brahman, not yeah, just because someone is born. Because previously there was no Brahmanas like this. And the Brahmanas by birth and then not doing the duty. But in those days, you see, the king, it was also duty of the king that everybody follows their duty. This was his responsibility. Otherwise, it was considered as sinful. And then it was considered that something wrong will happen. That's why there's the famous story in Rama and that Lord Ramachandra killed this book, which is a big problem now at present. Because all the Dalits they criticize the Brahmana and this whole Vedic culture. Because this Shambhuk was a Sudra and he was doing tapasya like a Brahmana. So Lord Shiva, Lord Ram went and just killed him. So everybody has to do their duty. And if they are not doing, then they are punishable. This is the same case for Eklavya. So this was 
the responsibility of um, this was also one of the responsibility of the king and king does not mean just king himself but people under him otherwise they are called brahma bandhu so then now what happened that uh, this um, offense of daksha has brought a kind of reaction and then uh, because she was an ishvara uh, is beyond all this karma okay or friends or anything because such people they don't act although it is seeming that he is angry and he is taking it away but that is not they they see what is to be done mm-hmm. and then they act so otherwise in the battlefield of kurukshetra also brahma who came If one is in an assembly and suddenly there's an apparat made, right, and you're not part of that apparat, you're just there, right? So it's already said there. It's already said, yes. said that you leave that place, Karna Upadhyaya, mm-hmm. that you close your ear and go out of that place. Mm-hmm. If you stay there and especially if you support, then you become part. Then you're educated. Yes. Yeah, I thought this, uh, this Vishma, he was sitting there and uh, he didn't say anything and yes, you know, he was, was silent and he was purchased. Yes. Okay, yeah, this is